Once you have your data entered, hit second stat. Here we go to the math column. Let's find the mean. And then I know this seems a little tedious, but it helps in much more complex problems. Second stat, list one, enter. There's our mean, 81.3, right, to the nearest tenth, so 81.3. The median, we can quickly find that as well. Second stat, math, choice four is the median, hit four. Second stat again, L1. You could also hit second one for list one, right? Press enter, we get 80. Okay. Describe the effect on the mean and median if um, Ms. Mosher adds five bonus points to each of the six scores. So let's just go back, and we're going to do this manually, then we'll talk about the algebra behind it. So if I hit second list, right, oops, hit stat, edit, let's make a second list. So we add five to all of these. Instead of 72, I get 77, right? Add 5, 80, 85, 85 becomes 90, 93 becomes 98, 78 becomes 83, right? And 80 becomes 85, okay. So now we can just go through that same process. Hit second, stat, and here we want to find the mean, choice 3, of list 2 this time, second 2. Notice the mean is shifted up by 5, right? So instead of 81.3 becomes 86.3. That's the mean. The whole thing is shifted up 5 values. And let's see what happens with the median. So we hit um, second, stat, math, choice 4 for median, and second, 2 for list 2. And that also has gone up 5 values, right? The median is no longer 80, it's now 85. Essentially, both have shifted up exactly five places. And this makes sense if you think about the way mean and median work. If everything is moving together, and the whole mean and the whole median move with it. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to look at the algebra here. We're not going to get into that. But you want to really, I think, reflect on that instinct here of why that whole, the, the whole, since, since the whole data shift, since the whole data set is shifting up, then the mean and the median also shift up.